Assalamu alaikum dear student welcome to my youtube channel Dr. Asim lectures and today we will continue our discussion on different type of uh, nitrogen waste product we already discussed about the properties of ammonia we already discussed about the properties of urea and today's lecture we will discuss about the properties of uric acid so let's get started before we start our discussion on uric acid uh, i would request you to like the video to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and share it with your colleagues your juniors your class fellows so they can also have a better understanding of the topic so let's begin first of all you must remember that uric acid is a weak acid which is produced as a result of the metabolism of purines now you have an understanding that purines are part of our dna and our rna so if you observe the patients of the gout who have the gouty arthritis and gout is produced as a result of increased accumulation of uric acid in our body that increased amount of uric acid start get depositing in our small joints especially of the joints of the our toes and it's seriously a painful condition so when patients have a gouty arthritis due to the increased uric acid metabolism and increased uric acid deposition uh, the physicians recommend them to decrease their purine intake and suggest them uh, medications that reduce their uric acid level in their body now when uric acid it's present in precipitated form so you must remember it facilitates the removal of four nitrogen atoms from our body as you already knew nitrogen waste products are produced by the metabolism of proteins and nucleic acids uh, if you haven't seen that lecture there is a link you can click on that link and have a better understanding of how nitrogen waste are produced in our body so dear students there are sources who actually claim that uric acid is uh, almost insoluble in water now that is the reason why 1 gram of nitrogen in the form of uric acid requires only 1 ml of water to be removed from the body now this is very very less in comparison with the urea and the ammonia so if you want to know ki how much water needed to remove 1 gram of nitrogen in the form of urea from our body you can click this link and then you have an idea how much water is required to remove 1 gram of nitrogen in the form of urea from our body so dear students as we already discussed uric acid is very very less soluble in water so there are very very rare chances of uric acid being diffused in our cells and interfere with our cellular metabolism that's why uric acid can be stored in human body without producing any toxic effects at all dear student please remember our body do not store uric acid if the amount of uric acid remains in the limit of our homeostatic capacity so if we are not producing much uric acid 75% of the uric acid which our body produce remove from the kidney and 25% of the uric acid is removed through the intestine so 100% of uric acid produced within the normal range of our metabolic capacities is excreted either through kidneys or through intestine so there are no chances of depositing uric acid in our body uric acid only accumulates in our body if the amount of production of uric acid become very much high and then it will lead to gout as we already discussed last but not least please do remember animals who produce uric acid uh, during their metabolism are called uricodelics and majority of the birds and insects are uricodelic animals so dear friend this is all about the properties of uric acid i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel share it with your colleagues you are class fellows you are senior you are juniors and uh, take very good care of yourself i love